Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul. If you're new here, we are here to get a message about a certain person on your mind. Whoever you thought of when you clicked on this video, I'm going to pull their current thoughts, feelings, energies, and intentions towards you, my dear, as well as some channeled message cards from them at the very end as well. Now, I will say this much, your person is low-key panicking right now for whatever reason that is. I'm getting, there we go, that, that would make sense, okay. Yeah, your person's low-key panicking because I think they're getting ready to have a big conversation with you soon, okay? Um, if I didn't already mention this, I'm gonna get channeled message cards from them towards the end of the video as well to see what they might wanna say to you. We have the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Swords, which is Gemini energy, the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups, okay? So these came out in separate chunks. The first three cards were these three followed by these three. So essentially, again, as I was saying, your person's low-key panicking because they're getting ready to have a conversation with you about something, some type of initiation that is going to create some pretty big rifts and changes between the two of you, potentially. Um, they want to have a conversation. They want to talk to you about something and have some type of a fresh start or a new spark between the two of you, regardless of what your background situation is. Your person is intending on this changing the flow of your connection potentially forever, okay? Now, at the end of the day, this is because your person sees a long-term future with you, essentially, okay? It's likely that you're probably not in a heavily committed relationship with them at this time, or regardless of the background story, it's going to be a big change because your person essentially wants to talk to you about a long-term committed relationship with one another, uh, monogamous, union in the 3d possibly even moving in together in the future if that's not like the stage that you're at right now and you're not fully ready to just straight up move in together your person at least wants to like get all the cards out on the table and talk about that being like the progression of where your connection might be heading in the future okay because they see a long-term committed relationship with you and they want to know if you're on the same page your person is a little bit jittery right now they're all over the place because for whatever reason they're not sure how you're going to take this conversation and they're just a little bit nervous to have it with you however they are fully on planning they are fully planning and intending on doing that yeah you guys I'm totally jittery your person's all over the place they're excited but they're nervous to talk to you about this okay finding out the truth crushed me so um that uh, you know what the first thing that came to mind was soul connections maybe your person's recently been doing research into soul connections and finding out the truth about that uh particularly if you guys are in separation or low contact freaked them out essentially it crushed them especially if they were the ones that initially walked away from this connection um it hurts them and that's part of what is prompting them to almost urgently come in and talk to you okay they also would say i remember every detail of that day so your person is reflecting on a very specific day that you guys had together, maybe a very specific conversation. Use your intuition about whatever specific day that is, but it's almost like they're replaying that same like situation, that same day over and over and over again in their head, maybe almost trying to rewrite the past and fix it in a way. They're afraid to contact you, but they're trying to um, push through that fear. So for some of you guys, you're in separation or maybe you're even in another relationship and your person is afraid to be open and honest, but they're working up the courage to do so. Your person loves you and they want to be down to earth with you and talk to you about the fact that they see a future with you. So anyway, if the reading resonated, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Stick around for more. You're a bright shining star and I hope to see you for a future video. Bye for now.